I did get to taste the best fish in the world or close to it, and the chef at La Fuente restaurant prepared it in only nine minutes. Just watch. What are we cooking today and what region is it from? Today we are cooking Pargo Estilo Mazatlan, which is the red snapper, the style of Mazatlan, Sinaloa. And it's a fresh fish, it's, it's eight ounces that we uh, uh, do here at La Fuente restaurant. Uh, the gentleman who's going to be uh, making it for us and pre uh, preparing it for us is Chef Luis Campos. He is also from Sinaloa. So we're very, very excited about uh, And your dishes this. cover five regions. They certainly do. Uh, La Fuente restaurant has five regions that we, uh, we really focus on from Mexico City all the way to Sonora, to Veracruz, Sinaloa, um, Chihuahua. So we're very, very flexible in a lot of items that we do, do okay. prepare. Let's get cooking. What we do is we take eight ounces of the red snapper, we add garlic butter to the foil. And what is this right here? This is garlic butter. That's the garlic, garlic butter. Garlic butter, okay. right. Uh -huh. How much is there? Oh, much? that's that's about four ounces of garlic butter. Right. right now he's adding fresh scallions. We also have the, the tomato, a diced tomato, cilantro, the white onion, and three colors of bell pepper for the color and the flavors. Okay. We're using S&P right now as salt and pepper just to give it a little bit of, of, uh, of uh, taste, flavor. It also adds a little bit more butter on top. This is great for the waistline because it is a fish dish. Also what Luis adds is the, uh, the lemon and a juice of the lemon and also lime and orange. This is the orange that he adds to it. It gives that citrical. It's called citrico, so it's a citric taste that comes out of it. It's very, very delicious. We have the lemon that he's putting in now. It's a really very, very nice. It gives that nice citric flavor, like I said earlier. And then the last, he'll use the lime. So you have three citrics that, that he's using. Oh, man, that looks so good. You're going to have some later. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> now, the reason for, for, um, for our chef to wrap this up, like I said earlier, the, the uh, final product prepared in its own vapors or you know, like we said a vapor or is in its steam in its own aluminum foil and once we uh, we have it airtight what he does is he puts it on the grill for about nine minutes or when you see the envelope itself enlarge that means the steam is is, is, is already uh, cooked in its own steam and it enlarges and that's when it's ready to go you could also do, uh, put a thermometer in there and making sure it's nice and heated just to make sure it's and what fine. temperature when you put the thermometer in? it's about 160 is he going to make it look like a duck or a swan or something? No, he's no? just going to make it that way because eventually we're going to go ahead and, and okay. uh, take the top off. So I thought it, it starts to look like a swan. <laughs> and what he'll do is put it on the grill. Okay, okay. we'll do that. Once the, the, uh, the red snapper is finished, the final product is put on your plate. And we open the envelope and you can smell that aroma coming up and it is absolutely wonderful. It opens the sinus and you can smell the citric, you can smell the, the aroma of all the vegetables we have in there. The nice thing about the fish is once it's open and once you're ready to eat, it is nice and tender because it is with the, with the uh, steam product that makes it nice and soft. Along with this, we have the, uh, the uh, white rice. We have uh, a little color on top of this. One of the interesting items that we do use from Mazatlan is the, the, uh, the garnishes. The garnish itself is a quarter slice of piña or pineapple that we gut, and then we take that fine, that we take the, um, the the pineapple, fresh mango, fresh grapes, and what we do is we slice it up all fresh. We place it on the the, the pineapple itself and add just a little touch of the uh, cream de mint just to Ooh. give it flavor. And then the final the final touches we do because it is a citrico, we add a little bit of lime, lemon and orange. In Sinaloa, or in, Ma in Mazatlan, the advantage there is because it is a seaport. There are a lot of wonderful di different types of fish that they are able to in, uh, put on their menus and enjoy, even from the restaurants to the regular people on, on the ground. They're, they uh, enjoy that fresh, that fresh uh, fish. Uh, which in is interesting too is the fact that the vegetables and the fruits and everything from that area also is a, a mainstay. So the product itself on a large dish like this is a nice marriage. It's a very, very good marriage. So let's try some. Let us try. Oh, uh, <laughs> you don't have to say, ask me twice. <laughs> All right. No bones in this? Oh, no, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure. Nice and clean. That would make good television, though, if I choked. It's time to try. 
bar. Absolutely good. This is great stuff. Nice and tender? Nice and good. tender. Good. And you know, the, the flavor Moist. is coming out. I, I um, taste some of the citrus. Right. And so it gives that kind of like a more of a tangy um, taste to it. So It's a nice explosion. Exactly. Very nice. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, too. Thank you. Gracias.